Hi, this is George, and there's my sweet dog, Buddy. Uh, as you might know, I have been making these short business or inspirational tip videos on my dog walk every day. Um, well, Monday through Friday, I've been doing it. And I, I started a couple months ago, and now this is video number 100. And along with these short videos, I've been writing short blog posts that are basically the summary, or actually not the summary, but the explanation, further details about, about what I said in these videos. So I've written almost 100 short blog posts in the past few months. And I will tell you, it has made such a difference in my um, building uh, a community, an audience, and also for my own learning and growth. And so I want to give you a couple of tips uh, to inspire you to hopefully do the same thing. Because whatever it is that you have learned in your life, uh, in your studies, in your helping clients, it is so important for you to share it with the world because you have no idea how many lives you can touch uh, by, by sharing content consistently. So let me give you a couple of tips. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share, basically, I'm going to talk about motive and method. Okay, So the motive is you've got to have a clear and strong motivation to be doing this. And a couple of, uh, a couple of motives that might be helpful to you as well is one is service to others. Uh, your experience may be, and your, your wisdom may be obvious to you, but I will assure you that it is amazing and transformational to someone else. And you don't know who that someone else necessarily is. So you simply, I encourage you to simply share your message uh, in bite-sized pieces like this, if you, if you can, to make it more digestible. But even if it's longer, that's fine too. But, but service to others is an important motive. Um, another motive is your own personal growth. Ever since I started making these videos, I have learned and grown uh, much faster than before I was sharing content consistently. So really content is as much for the creator to learn, to organize their thoughts, and to, sh and to practice sharing in an inspirational way um, as it is for the, for the recipient who is, who is benefiting from it. So, so, so service to yourself as well. And um, also service to your clients. And I've talked about this before. If you can share these tips, think about what your clients need, what your clients continue asking you, and then use this opportunity to share it. That's helpful for them as well. That's great. The next thing I want to talk about is method. Keep the method as easy and simple as possible. Um, so, for example, I, uh, most of my videos have been using just my arm. As you can see, just my arm. It took some practice to get used to it. Um, but you know, after the first couple of videos, it's much easier for me to, to use my arms now. And um, a while, a little while ago, I also got a selfie stick. Um, I'll put the link. It's very cheap, it's like ten bucks, ten dollars, and that makes a video slightly higher quality. So the method's got to be easy. I do these on my dog walks. I'm walking my dog anyway. I'm at the park, so I thought I'd just bring it out and, and share something useful. So you got to make something easy. Maybe video's not for you. It might not be for you. Maybe you love to write. Okay, maybe you love to take photos and then put some inspirational messages with it. Uh, maybe you love to record audio. Maybe that podcasting is good. But you got to find a method that's easy for you. You got to put it into your schedule in a way that's easy. Okay, always think of how can I make this easier for, for me, more natural for me to do. Okay, and so that's that's it. That's all I want to say today. A couple of um, quick um, quick requests for you. One is I would love to know. Uh, what you have enjoyed about my, my videos. Uh, share one thing you've really per appreciated about how I do my videos uh, underneath the, the, in the comment section. I'd so appreciate it. I'd love to kind of crowdsource uh, what's working about these videos. And secondly, what's one thing I can improve upon? And I'll give you a link un underneath this video to share with me anonymously if you want. Or you can just comment below. I'm totally fine with receiving feedback. And lastly, I am going to put under, in, in the notes attached to this video, I'm going to include the 10 best videos and blog posts. I might do five of each, but 10 best videos and blog posts out of my 100 that I've done over the past few months. And I'll also give you a link to see all of them if you want to check the whole library out. So I hope that's helpful. As always, I, I wish you well. I wish you courage and clarity and confidence in pursuing your true livelihood. Be well.